the goal of this video is to help you get some earnings in the reload cups. I'm gonna break down a formula that you need to follow if you want to achieve some success in the next cup. Keep in mind that you need to gather all of these tips for it to simply work. Because they are linked to each other and if you don't learn all of them, then it simply won't work. So make sure to watch it till the end. First tip is W key. Listen, you might hear from other people that W king is not worth it at all, but you know what that is? Boot. If you didn't know, only 20 teams call to the next round where you can actually make some earnings. So playing like a boot won't help you, trust me. If you're going for a personal best or something, then go for it. But if you want to have a chance at going into round 2, then you need to W key some teams. Because remember, you're gonna be competing with 19 other best teams in round 2. So if you're not prepared to W key in round 1, then you're not gonna be able to do shit in round 2. Tip number 2 is to play confident. This is something you have to explain to your duo as well. If you look at confident duos in any tournament matches, then you'll notice that they are genuinely f scary. Like you know that if they find you and push you, you're done. So instead of thinking about that, think about what's gonna go through your opponent's mind when you guys are the confident ones. And sure, confident takes some time to build to automatically become one, but you don't have to do that because you can actually manipulate people into thinking that you guys are scary when you might just be average. But your movement and overall body language speaks for you during the matches. Because you obviously can't talk to your opponents in Fortnite. But what you do, how you move, or how you guys fight together depends on you. Because your opponents are gonna see you and think if they're gonna fight you or not. Or even if they're gonna be scared or not. So develop some blind confidence because it will help you out guaranteed. Think about it this way. What other option do you have? Play scared? No, it's better to be blind confident than not. And you might have come across this video by yourself, but share this with your duo as well, so that you guys can both be confident duos together, and just destroy everyone around you in every match. Confidence increases your chances of winning more fights without actually doing anything, so do not skip it. Tip number 3 is to improve fighting as a duo. If you remember the first tip I taught you, then you know that this is crucial. As I said in the intro, all of these tips are linked to each other. Otherwise, none of them will work if you just use them one by one. So the first tip was to start W King, but obviously you can't just W King and die. You and your mate need to push everyone and take them down as a duo. And you can only do that if you improve your fighting. For example, if you guys are just trying to take your 1v1s against other duos, then it might work if other duo plays like that as well, but it won't work if the duo that you're fighting is playing together. So essential tip I want to give you is to start applying pressure from opposite sides. This way you'll have more space to play with and they will not have time to even breathe. Hard pressure is what makes your opponent make mistakes and once they make a mistake, you have to take the action. If they make a mistake by for example making an open edit and you did not punish them for it, then you missed out on a big fight ending play. Because if he made an open edit and you hit him for let's say 80 damage, now he has to heal up which means defense is dependent on his duo now. So if you and your duo start aggroing and putting on even more pressure, then the one guy that's trying to defend won't be able to keep up with the pressure and then you simply win. Tip number 4 is trusting your duo. If both of you doubt each other and you don't listen, then you can't call yourself a duo. For example, if one of you that's an IGL says to do something that's risky, then you have to f go for it. Worst case you die and learn your lesson so that you don't make the same mistake again. Before we get to the rest of the video, you have to hear me out. I want to make something very clear, so listen to me carefully. Are you tired of being a person who doesn't know what works for him the best? Then me and my team have found a solution for you. I'm sure you had that period where you hit the improvement cap and you were stuck at the same level for too long. That's why me and my team made Relentless Academy. Everyone has different weaknesses. For example, is your goal to reach Unreal? Then we can help you. Is your goal to have a chance of making earnings? Then we can help you. Or maybe you just want to get better in general? Then Relentless Academy can solve all of those problems. In addition, you'll also get two different courses. One, season-based info, where you get early information about new meta, broken items, etc., which updates every season. And the other one is called How to Play on High Pain. And I think you get this one. We'll also give you a full access on private discord activities for example cash tournaments where you can earn real money giveaways and tasks that you have to complete that are updated daily because we want our students to stay disciplined and get one percent better every day the academy costs thirty dollars a month or one dollar a day that is literally the money that you're gonna spend on a sh stack you get instant access on everything with just a few clicks it also fits for all gaming gears Tip number 6 is to always blame yourself. No matter what happens in a scenario, you do not blame someone else but you. Even if it's not your fault, it's still your fault. This kind of mindset doesn't really change what happened 
but it will push you to become the greatest player you can ever be because you're telling yourself that it was your fault and you're not good enough and by extension what's gonna happen is you start to take control of every situation and once you have some control then it means that it's your responsibility to make sure you destroy your enemies and win every fight so remember no matter what happens it was your fault tip number seven is to stop giving up listen at the end of the day it was just a tournament what you need to do is start controlling your emotions stop getting upset over a game and act normal if your duo did something that makes you mad don't scream at him because it's not gonna get anywhere here's how it works once you truly stop giving a f i don't say that for you to go and troll in any tournament i mean that by playing your best but not giving a f about your results if you didn't make it into next round or whatever who cares? Genuinely, these tournaments won't go anywhere, gentlemen. So getting upset over them will not bring any self-improvement to you. Even worse, it will just damage your potential of getting better and you'll be on your way to downfall. Not controlling your emotions on some game is an act of cowardice. Just imagine how you look from third person perspective. Think about someone just watching you from the other side of the room and you getting mad over some game. Think of how ridiculous you look. I want you to really think about this because this applies to almost everything as a man, not just Fortnite. Tip number 8 is to subscribe. No, I'm just kidding. It's to take a break every once in a while. Listen, playing Fortnite competitive can be really stressful. You and your duo need to make sure you both get good rest and kind of live your life. Life isn't all about Fortnite and once you stop playing it 24-7, then you'll automatically improve more. Cause your dopamine levels are just off the fucking roof from playing Fortnite all the time. Plus the other stuff that is constantly robbing you out of your focus, like TikTok, movies, other video games and so on. Everything is designed to make you get a severe ADHD. That's why you can't focus on a single thing. Your mind is so stuffed with so much garbage that it needs to be filtered. Take a break from Fortnite every once in a while and it will reset your dopamine levels back to normal. Cause once you stop playing and maybe go outside, maybe go to the gym or just enjoy the nature, you'll kind of feel the feelings of being a normal person. Your brain will start to detox and once you load into Fortnite next time, it will be much more enjoyable and you'll see massive improvements. So every once in a while, take a break for a few days from Fortnite. It's okay if you miss some tournaments, just don't worry about that. But don't take too long of a break cause then you'll miss out on everything and become terrible at the game. Trust me, try what I've just told you for a few days, either now or later, and come back to this video with the results that it granted you and i'll answer all of them in the comments about it i promise so with that intense ending we just went through you'll reach the end of this video and i just want to say one thing to you i know you will find some success in fortnite sooner or later maybe not this week maybe not even this month but you will have that day where you will just find some true joy of succeeding in this game if you enjoyed this video and want to support me then i'd really appreciate it if you dropped me a sub I'm trying to reach 10k by the end of 2024, which is very possible, but I need your help to do that. As well as use code Lukechai in the Fortnite item shop and have a good day.